In this video, I'm going to walk through how to rename a column name with an R. So we've been working off of this simplified data frame right here in the course. And so you can see this data frame right here. It just has kind of country name, year, and different population. And so we can easily select out different columns and we can also rename those columns. For example, we have country name here, country dot name, and maybe we just want this to say country here. So if you are already selecting columns, you can do this really easily within that select command. So all we need to do is you're going to put your new column name. So we're going to call it country to the left hand side, and then we're going to say equals whatever the current column name. So not only is it going to rename this, but it's also going to select these three columns out. And I'm just going to remove the saving of this variable so we can just look at this. And then I can run it. And so what you can see if we scroll all the way up to the top is this now says country instead of country.name. So now we have renamed this. On the other hand, it's possible that you don't actually want to select. You want to keep the data frame as is. You just want to rename a column. An easy way to do that is to just use the rename function. And we're going to use the column name of country. Country is equal to country.name. And you can see it pre-populated there. That's one way you know you're on the right track. And then we can run this. So now when we run this, you can already see those other columns are appearing here. And if I scroll down, you can see here's the, col the, here's the code we ran. And it renamed that, but it, it didn't select out the columns. We still have all the columns. We just have this renamed. So we can always actually set it. Let's go ahead and define that variable as df. So whenever we're doing this, we're actually rewriting over df. So this is actually going to change to the new df. And I'm going to go ahead and exit out of that. And so we can run this. And in this case, it doesn't print anything out. But when we open up df, we can see that this country is now renamed from country.name to country.